Hey guys, welcome to Bad today, bringing you another video, and today we're covering the Mark 17, or the Scar Heavy. So we'll go ahead and jump into this video, I'm going to show you how to build up the Mark 17 for the most realistic real-life build that we see used by SOF, or Special Operation Forces Units, who utilize the Scar, or the Mark 17, and we'll jump into the firing range, show you the build, the recoil control, and some gameplay here in multiplayer, showing off how this thing works really, really well on the, the map Border Crossing is what we ended up playing here, we got the gameplay for this one, so really good Scar build here. Finally, we got a scar that hits really heavy in this game, unlike Modern Warfare 2019. So let's go ahead and back out, show you the base weapon here is the scar, obviously. We'll go ahead and camo select. I will strip it down to base. Now the weapon, I'm actually going to be using a blueprint. This was part of a store bundle. So if we look at the battle rifles, the Tech V is the scar heavy or the Mark 17. So we go to the armory here. You have three options. You have the base. And then the one we're going to want here is Mud and Guts. Again, this was part of a store bundle here uh, for Season 1. At the launch of Season 1, I believe I got this Day 1 of Warzone on stream. So part of a bundle. We'll go ahead and select this one. And what this does is it gives you the um, it gives you the Pec-15 on the top rail. Now, for some reason, I don't know why Call of Duty always decides to hate me whenever I try to do these videos. Let's go ahead and back out and go back into the gunsmith and take a look. And maybe we can actually see our weapon. It would be really nice. Um, it's either that or I get ridiculous types of lag every time I try and do a, a video. So, going to the weapons. There we go. We actually get a, an interface that loads. And here we go. So, this is the blueprint, Mud and Guts. And you see, on this blueprint versus the base uh, scar heavy, we get the laser attachment or the, the PEC-15 on the top pick mount versus the uh, one on the right-hand side there, which you get with the other builds. So, what we're going to want to do is rebuild this. So we're going to go with the laser ops, and we're going to go with the FFS Oli V. This is, again, a sensor with a tech laser from Modern Warfare 2019. It'll give us the aim down sight speed, aiming stability, and the sprint to fire speed. While the con being that laser, laser will be visible to enemies only when you're ADSing. So just be careful about where, when you do it. Don't ADS through doors and things like that to give away your position. So we'll go ahead and select that. You can see we have a couple different options there for uh, the different blueprints as well. So we'll go ahead with the default. We want that black build. Now for the optic here, you can't really run a scar heavy uh, <laughs> accurately without putting an LK inspector on there. So we'll go with the Cronin 0P optic. It's going to give us a five times magnification as the pro. And the cons will be the very small sniper glint, aim down sight speed, and the aim walking movement speed. So we'll select that. Next up here for the stock option, this is an optional attachment that I've been running with a lot of success with this. Obviously, if you want the, the base stock option, it works completely fine for the SCAR. However, we're going to go with this aftermarket boot here, the, the bigger UGG boot for the SCAR. It's going to give us the pros of the aiming stability and the recoil control, with the cons being the aim down sight speed, crouch movement speed, aim walking movement speed, and sprint speed. So we'll go ahead and select that one. And then we're going to skip out on the rear grip. We'll skip out on the magazine, although we do have a base of 20. We have a 30-round magazine, and we have the beautiful 50-round of the 762 by 51 NATO there as well. So we'll go with the base 20, and uh, we're completely fine for multiplayer. Um, for the front grip, we're obviously going to need the bipod foregrip here for the SCAR, the FN bipod grip on this bad boy. So pros are the bipod mount. We can mount this on the ground which helps with a lot of accurate accurate fire when needed uh recoil steadiness and the cons being a down sight speed so we'll go ahead and select that and then for the muzzle attachment i went back and forth with a lot of different muzzle options here you can really pick whichever one you think suits best and again play with it in the firing range the one i've so far had the best luck with is the Socken tread 40 so this is going to give us uh, vertical control and horizontal control uh, for the recoil the cons here are going to be the aim down sight speed and the aiming stability. So we'll go ahead and select that. This thing kicks very heavy in, in sustained automatic fire because of the uh, caliber of 762 by 51 So for tuning this, we're going to, with the muzzle attachment, we're going to tune the gun kick control all the way up and the recoil stabilization all the way up. Now for the uh, optic, I'm going to put the eye position all the way to far and flinch resistant to uh, the max. For the stock option, we won't touch that, and we won't touch anything for the grip. So we're really only uh, editing or tuning the the optic and the muzzle device. So the barrel options here at base, we have the 16-inch barrel. So we have a standard SCAR-17 here. Uh, you do have the short 
uh, barrel for the 12 inch barrel and the 18 inch for other options here as well. Uh, so that's the final build. Now for camouflage wise, you have a couple different options. Dune C is the one you get by completing this. That one looks really good as well. You have some very nice ones that come with the scar here, like Anaconda and uh, Faded Veil, which I really want to unlock as well. The one I've been kind of running with here, um, I like scales a lot. And then I also really like the one that comes with the Mark uh, 16 when you unlock that being Hidden Snake. So either of these I think works really well. Um, I like both equally, so we'll go with uh, we'll go with Hidden Snake for this one. So we'll go ahead and select that, and there is our Mark 17. We'll go ahead and look at the final build here. So you can see here, just a really nice looking build again. The Mark 17 or the Scar Heavy Firing 762 by 51 millimeter NATO. Now, if we look at this weapon here, um, some key features here, which are really good attention to detail. Obviously, we have the Pick 15 with this blueprint mounted on the top Picatinny rail, and you can see the uh, cable management going on here. We have what looks like some um, some colored um, electrical tape to match the camouflage covering the uh, cable, and then the cable management is going down here to the side where you have the uh, mounted button on the on the uh, left hand side pick rail there to uh, activate your laser. When you're adsing so that's where your operator would press right above the bipod grip there where that wire connects um i can't really zoom in without it getting super blurry but it'll turn that laser on that way so i'm not sure if your operator actually pushes it in game it's hard to tell because you're obviously ads so you really can't see that but that would be a cool uh nice attention to detail there as well um the next thing here we have the uh, reciprocating charger handle there which um in this version is reciprocating fn has since fixed that i believe just this year so real in real life, a lot of people put their thumbs there and they get scar bite where that charging handle as it's reciprocating during fire uh, smashes their thumb and that that hurts quite a bit. We have the uh, above the on the lower receiver here above the magwell, we have the uh, bolt release and then we have fully ambidextrous uh, fire controls. So we have uh, our safety single and full auto on the left side and the right side, and we have our mag release there on the right-hand side, that button there right above the uh, the mag well between there and the trigger group, um, and the trigger right above the trigger guard as well. So all that on the lower receiver, really nice build. We have the foldable buttstock there. You can see it's going to disconnect and uh, fold to the right-hand side of the weapon, and you can see the... Uh, you can see where the shells would uh, discharge from the weapon there as well on the right-hand side above the magwell. So just a beautiful weapon. Let's go ahead now. We'll back out. That's our final design of the Mark 17 of the Scar Heavy. We'll just take a look at this in the uh, firing range really quick. So we'll jump in, take a look at it, take a look at the recoil control. We'll also look at the Warzone build I've been using here uh, really quickly as well. But here's the, here's the final design. Obviously, we do the weapon inspect for the Scar Heavy or the Mark 17. The base 20 round magazine let's go ahead and let it rip full auto here you can see hitting these early targets pretty easily and then at long range like this you really don't want sustained heavy automatic fire at those ranges but you can see we're able to still keep it relatively on target so typically you want to kind of use it uh tap fire at those ranges so we can go full auto here and then at these longer ranges we can just kind of short burst fire or even tap fire ideally since we have a 20 round magazine just kind of tap fire. So let's take a look at the recoil control on this thing and see how it kicks. So you can see there, it's going to be one, two, three, four, five shots. The first five shots are relatively, um, relatively, first five or six are, are pretty spread apart and then it gets pretty tight there. So you can see, really, if you want to fire in, a, in four or five round bursts. is really your best option instead of going to sustain full automatic fire. If you're at close range, full automatic is fine, but four to five round burst, it's gonna be perfect for this weapon because you'll be able to control the recoil with that amount of fire going on. So let's try that long target once more with this 45 round burst, four to five round and just see how we do see. So I'm gonna try and fire a five round burst. There was a five, I kind of messed up the recoil there. Let's try once more. So there we go, that was perfect. Five, do a four round. Again, perfect. Let's try this long target once more. Let's 
so not the best example there but again you can always tap fire and the good thing is i think you actually increase your damage when you're in single fire so you can just hit it's gonna be two shot kill and then if we do uh full auto tap fire so that's three to the chest plate let's see two to the chest plate in single let's try the medium target at 20 meters three one two two long range so seems like everyone's saying you're increasing your damage with that that's the mark 17 let's go ahead and back out and take a look at our uh warzone build really really quickly i'll just show you guys kind of what i'm running in battle royale quick and this is something i'll probably do another video on here in the future as well but if i go to if i go to that you can see i'm running pretty much the same attachments uh, a little bit different of a muzzle device there just because i don't think i um I forgot the reason I swapped to this. I probably need to actually fix it. This is just straight vertical. So this one gives me a little bit more vertical control. And then I'm running the uh, 50 round drum and the uh, Schlager 3.4 times. So you can see the recoil with this is a little bit different. And obviously your optic is a 3.4 instead of a 5.5. So you can see that you're still going to get a lot of kick. But this is actually a better build to keep it on target so for warzone this is my build and uh works out pretty good then we got our vector here for backup when we need it uh for close range situations and works really well obviously great weapon so let's go ahead now we'll back out take a look at our final design for the mark 17 once more and then jump into the gameplay with this weapon so we back out go to the multiplayer and to our scar heavy mark 17 there she is so a beautiful design right there jumping into the gameplay here you'll see this again on the border crossing map and again just a really really good gameplay that i'll probably end up leaving you guys with most of it so you can see it also again just using this i love this map because you can use uh the cars for cover lay down look underneath the cars look at when people are coming from those directions you can also get on top of the cars and just there's a lot of angles that you can play uh this map works really really well for this particular weapon i believe um and you'll see how i play here there's a lot of really good kill streaks with this thing that i get on especially with only the 20 round magazine and i do switch to single fire at some points in the gameplay here so this is a pretty good gameplay uh that i was able to get just playing i think this is even my very first game playing with this particular build to get the footage for this so um just a really all around easy weapon to use in my mind it's not as niche as it was in modern warfare 2019 and the fact that you get that 50 round drum magazine and all the muzzle attachments the stock options things like that to really help mitigate that recoil control um really make this weapon a lot of fun to use i'm having a blast with this gun and the sound the way it sounds in fully automatic fire just it, it sounds very very pow powerful so some real life information here about the scar heavy in real life scar standing for special operation forces combat assault rifle special operation forces being um, obviously special forces so combat assault rifle so this is developed by fn herstel out of belgium um, now it fits a couple different roles you have the assault rifle which is the scar l which we've already covered the cqc version uh, we have the battle rifle here which is the scar h or the mark 17. we also have covered the mark 20 ssr which is the designated marksman rifle version and then we have some other versions which we'll cover here in the future as well um, again place of origin is belgium the company fn herstel it's been in service since 2009 and in early 2004, the U.S. Uh, Special Operations, U.S. SOCOM, issued uh, the solicitation for the family of Special Operations Forces Combat Assault Rifles, um, designated in the two calibers. And in June 2007, after some delays, the rifles were uh, beginning to be issued to troops in the field, things like that. So it first saw combat, I believe, in the war of Afghanistan and Iraq, Yemen Civil War, it's seen action, and... Uh, it's also seen actually in the Russo-Ukraine war recently as well. So we've seen it being used there also as alongside some um, very uh, similar looking weapons. The uh, the um, H-Bar, I believe. Not the H-Bar. The um, the modernized Bren is what it is. The Bren, Bren 2, I believe it was, is what it is. It looks very similar to, to a Scar Light. But we did see some, some Scars actually in action in some of the combat footage in the Russo-Ukraine war, which is pretty cool. Um design period was 2004 for the com for the uh trials to replace the m4 ultimately production has been in place since 2004 through present 
We'll go over a lot of different variants, but here for the Scar Heavy, the mass of the weapon um, overall for the Scar H Standard, which is going to be that 16-inch barrel, is going to be 7.9 pounds. So, ironically, it's actually a very... It would look like a heavier weapon, but it's actually very, very lightweight, which is good because of the 762 by 51 millimeter caliber or cartridge that it does carry. The length of the weapon for the Scar Heavy standard barrel option here is going to come in. And again, this is with really depending on the barrel length and the stock option for this particular build. However, it's going to be a 28 inch uh, with the stock folded. And it's going to also be 38 with the stock extended. So you have the extended butt stock. It can fold so that it can come in a variety of different lengths. And again, that's dependent on the barrel length as well. So anywhere from 28 to 38, depending on what kind of butt stock and at what position the butt stock is in. For the barrel length here, again, for the standard version of the Scar Heavy, it's going to be a 16 inch barrel, which is what we see here in the game. We also have the uh, other options for an 18 and a 12. For the cartridge, like we said, the Scar Light firing the 556 by 45 millimeter NATO, and the Scar Heavy, the battle rifle version here, firing that 762 by 51 millimeter NATO alongside the Mark 20 SSR. The Mark 20 SSR can also fire that 6.5 Creedmoor, which is what we see here in the game as well. Now, it is a gas operated short stroke gas piston rotating bolt, is the action for this weapon with a rate of fire. For the Scar Heavy, between 550 and 650 rounds per minute. Both the Scar Heavy and Scar Light have very similar rates of, of fire, which is slow and sustained fire, and it just has a very unique sound when you hear it fire. It's a slower rate of fire, easier to keep on target, and you can always tell when you're hearing a Scar fire, especially in the game, but they did a really good job with the sound capturing for that as well. Now, the muzzle velocity for the Scar Heavy or the Mark 17 is going to be 2,342 feet per second or 714 meters per second that's firing the m80 cartridge which is the military grade cartridge for the 762 by 51 millimeter nato the effective firing range for the scar heavy is going to come in at 400 meters or 440 yards and the feed system is going to be a uh, 20 round box magazine obviously it's capable of uh, accepting a 30 and the fn 50 round drum so that's our Scar Heavy, now again, there's a lot of different uh, variants of this weapon that we've gone into a little bit here. And we'll be covering a lot of them here for the weapon conversions on the channel. Um, things like the Hammer, I think I'll still be covering and some other iterations of both variants of the Scar Heavy and the Scar Light. But overall, just a great weapon. We went into a lot of history with the Scar Light in that video that I did for the Scar Light PDW or the CQC version. I, initially, both the Scar Heavy and Scar Light were adopted... Um, and eventually the orders ceased for the Scar Light because the M4 was just getting into the salt mod kits, uh, CQBR, Block 1-2s, things like that. So there really wasn't a need because the M4 kind of hit this new iteration of, it, of its life cycle. So there was really only the need to fulfill the battle rifle caliber, that being the 762x51mm NATO. And because it fires a bigger cartridge than that 556 by 45 millimeter NATO, it can reach greater distances. So recently we've seen with uh, Six Hour and the U.S. military adopting the Six Hour Spear or the M5 with that 6.8 by 51 millimeter cartridge, I believe is what it is. Um, that's designed to each to reach long distances and be a lighter weight rifle, things like that. But the battle rifle here is really designed again to hit those long distance ranges. Things like the M4 couldn't reach those longer ranges where an AK-47 with a larger round um, could reach longer ranges. So specifically in Iraq and Afghanistan, they were getting engaged at seven, 800 meters, and the M4 really is not that effective after 500 meters uh, accurately. So you need rifles like the XM5 or the Spear to reach out those distances or something heavier like this, the battle rifle with the M4. The old M14, the SCAR here, we have other, other uh, the, the FAL, things like that. So the Battle Rifle, we're really happy they added this category into the game this time around. It allows for a lot better balancing with these type of rifles. We see it with the G3, the SCAR Heavy, the uh, M14. Speaking of, it's in the game, which is really nice to see. And I'm sure we'll get the DSA 58 uh, FAL here at some point as well, because you can't have a Battle Rifle uh, category without the FAL. So I really hope we get that. If you guys are enjoying the content, be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Let me know your favorite Scar build below. If you have a different build for mod for uh, for Warzone versus multiplayer, let me know. Um, had a blast leveling this up. Had a really, really fun time leveling up the whole platform. 
really great weapon and I'm glad that it's much more viable here in in Modern Warfare 2 and Warzone 2 and DMZ than it was in Modern Warfare 2019. You really were at a disadvantage using it. Here it seems like it, it works because they fit it into this battle rep category. It, it really has its own niche and it works really, really effectively when used how it's supposed to be. So let me know your thoughts down below, social media links and everything like that in their description. Till next time, this is Buffer Gaming with the Mark 17 or the Scar Heavy. Till next time, Buffer Gaming, out. Changing max. Keep it up!